On my most recent video, I talked about my latest update from August 2023 of investing a simple $5 a day every single day into the stock market. But guys, I screwed something up. As an honest person, I got to come back and correct it in this video here today because I want us to make sure we're doing the right thing. And thank you for these comments right here because they brought some great light that I'm like, you know what? Instead of just replying to the comments, which I already did, I'm gonna come back and do a dedicated video because it's that important. Let's talk about the very first point, And that is right here at the compound interest calculator linked in the description below. Now, what we looked at is right here, you can see the initial deposit is $152. So let's say you decide to do the challenge of $5 every day into the stock market. The issue is though, this calculator only does it by the month. You see the contribution frequency monthly or annually, you can't do daily. So what I did is I took $5 times 365 days in a year, and then you divide that number by 12 months in the year. That gives me that 152. So we'll start with 152 in the first month, and every month thereafter, we'll deposit another $152. Now here's the trick. What I did and screwed up in that prior video is that this right here reset on me incorrectly. I refreshed the website, and it went back to right here and did monthly. It's not what I wanted. The compound interest is on an annual basis. That's the average that we're talking about. But what I plugged in was this right here, 10.5%. And there was a lot of great comments about this 10.5% number. Now, that 10.5% is the average return of the stock market over the last 100 years. Now, that means an average. There's going to be years that you're going to be outperforming. Your portfolio could grow by like 20%, 30%. But there's also going to be the years that life stinks. You know, 2009, we had the Great Recession. 1929, the Great Depression. 2001, 9-11. There are times that your portfolio can go down in the negative. You could lose 20% even 30% of your portfolio value. So if you take the bad years and the good years, you spread it across, that average is 10.5%. Where I got that number is right over here. I'll also link this in the description below. The stock market average yearly return, thanks to trade.swing.com that talks about the last 100 years. Now, 100 years because I wanted to factor in the Great Depression. But here's a key point. Even though we're looking at the S&P 500 at 10.5%, there's the number, over the last 100 years as of June of 2023, this assumes that dividends are reinvested. And in my account that I have where I'm investing $5 a day into the S&P 500 index, I am reinvesting the dividends. In fact, if you check out my update video from July of 2023, I shared with you a dividend that I was about to get paid simply for owning shares of that particular ETF that is always going to be reinvested. So beyond my $5, we're taking the dividends and also buying more shares every quarter that they're paid out. Every quarter meaning every three months. But then also inflation adjusted. That's another key point because I know a lot of people are very hot on inflation right now. Now inflation typically is two or 3% per year. As of late, it's been a lot more. And let's say it keeps going hot. Who cares? We're going to look at the last 100 years of data and that actually puts us at a 7.3%. So that's the annualized return, including dividend reinvestments with inflation adjusted returns. So let's go back here to the calculator and correct this. So what I'm gonna do, I originally did this 10.5% first, just to look at the numbers, and then you can see your balance of $5 a day every day for the next 20 years grows to $116,937. That's where this annual compounded interest, this green line really takes effect because it's taking all that, averaging out the good years and bad years to the 10.5%. And then you can see what happens here, this blue line down here, this blue graph, that represents your $5 a day that you're putting in, your hard earned money that you're getting from your job or wherever you're finding $5 a day. That is the blue line. The green line is the investment returns. Look what happens if you just stay consistent over time. It takes off. I mean, look at that. It's like a almost parabolic. It goes all the way up here to a point that in 2042, your investment was a total of 36,632, but your interest is so much more. You actually made more money on the investment return of $80,000. See, that's where things are awesome. And that's why Albert Einstein famously quoted that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Those who understand it, earn it. Those who don't, pay it. So make sure we earn it, not pay it. 
Now, to address the people that are talking about inflation, that's where we hop back here and we take this number right here, 7.363%. I'll round it up to 7.4 and uh, we'll plug it in here. So 7.4%, that will give us our inflation-related returns. So now we're looking at 81,000, but the green line is still parabolic. Look at that. So you put in hard-earned money of $36,000, but your total investment return is $44,000. And that is kind of how the facts work. And I'm looking at the last 100 years of data. I don't want to look at the last 10 years of data. That said, $5 a day, as you can see in 20 years, doesn't amount to a whole lot, $81,000. In fact, somebody made the joke that that money will afford you a McDonald's Happy Meal 20 years from now. First of all, if that's the case, we're in for a big, big trouble because uh, the middle class is going to be completely squeezed down. That's a topic for a different day. But that's why we also need to be serious about as we earn more money, as we pay down debt, finding a way to invest more than $5 a day. By the way, when we talk about financial independence, are you interested in learning more about my buyer journey? If so, all I ask, drop me a comment down below. Check out my latest update video on the $5 a day challenge and we'll see you on the next video.